Hello and welcome to Legacy Atlanta. We are in the K5 Championship yet again here today. And uh, yes, Legacy Atlanta. Originally, we were going to do the Super Speedway Modern Configuration. However, uh, after it was pretty not so great during the official races this week, Nick decided we are going old school. <laughs> Legacy Atlanta, which... I think the majority applauded. Uh, I'm sure there's plenty disappointed that the uh, one super speedway is gone, but um, I appreciate not having to do a super speedway. And uh, even if I didn't like it, it is Nick's league, so he gets to do what he wants. <laughs> we are uh, out for qualifying. Going to be very important, of course, as always. So I will be quiet here for a minute. Hmm. I got a little bit tight for my comfort. Getting used to how the track's gonna be feeling here. I'm qualifying. I didn't feel very fast. We'll see though. We'll do session best. And then try to improve on lap two. This is feeling better. Eh, it's pretty equal right now, but we'll see. The leader has just done a Well, that wasn't even better. So, three, seven, three will be our time. Repeat two. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the track got hotter, as Nick said it would. Times went down quite a bit. We are in the point threes after we had, I think Wesley had a 30.9 <laughs> in the uh, colder track. On the colder track. Holy cow, Justin. What a lap. He's P5 right now. Look at that. Nice. I think he's going to do really good here today. Not only just because of that, but uh, I think tire saving is going to be very important here. And watching his races, he's always been pretty good long run. A lot of time, he picks his spots really well. So uh, I think patience is going to pay off for everybody here. And I think that should suit him well. So I hope he has a good race. Going to go ahead and hop out of the car. Feeling pretty good about P2, though. I did not get as much practice as I normally like to get. Normally, I like to do practice I'm doing something right. on my own time before doing this. That's great to see. He uh, had trouble at Bristol and then took a week or two off. How many weeks? Has it been like two weeks? I don't know. So, great to see him doing well there. Do we have two or three sets in the pit? So... I think I'm really three. close. By the way, uh, yeah, your signal flow is good enough. The cutoff fall point is dead heat. Yeah. Hmm. Oh no. <laughs> Just I'm not sure how I did that. You know you did a pretty darn good job if you're ahead of guys like JP. Mitch had a little bit of trouble. Nick and Gavin down there. Um. <laughs> Scott got the pole. That happened because it was fast. That's how that happened. He was really fast to the other races he's been in as well. I remember Nashville Super Speedway, he was contending for the win. Wow, I, I, I'm really happy with that. With a P2, so. Feeling good in this neighborhood. <laughs> God. Sponsored by Applebee's. Sometimes I say things, I don't know why I said it. So Mitch P21. 
Definitely going to keep an eye on where he is. He's very close to me in the standings after getting the win last week. At USA. <laughs> Who did not make it? Oh, Spencer just barely didn't three, make four. it. Kina, James. We had a pretty good uh, turnout this time. Oh, no. Bob didn't make it. That sucks. Way too loose coming green, botched yeah, like well, Oh, I don't that have sucks. To to doing this right. Daniel Should made it just barely. P32. We will have a decent a uh, a decent heat race to watch. The number of people in. Not sure what brought so many people out to this one. Intermediates, I guess. More interest. Maybe a lot of people own. Atlanta, that could help. So we'll uh, we'll watch this. But of course, the race is going to look much different than qualifying. Like I said, tire fall off going to be huge here. Patience going to be very important. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to give it <laughs> give it my best. Well, that's the Davin. <laughs> So, let's see. Zach in third. Chuck. Chuck's always really fast. He's going to be starting P4. Sure, Alex with a great now. lap. P5. Mixed up a little bit, seems like. We got the uh, field a little bit shuffled. And Mitch kind of in the middle down there. Gavin 17th. Nick and Gavin are always right next to each other. Always. It's pretty incredible how similar they are on speed like at every single track. It's Pretty funny, honestly. So, actually, Gavin ties with Landon as well. That's fun. Okay, Colton. Get ready. So we'll go ahead and uh, go, 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 go. watch the heat race. Just a three-lap shootout. Just to give, uh, well, it's out of necessity. But it gives the guys that didn't make it something to do. Just a quick shootout. Kind of just as a side effect. <laughs> oh, Michael gets loose. I made it happen barely. on the cold tires. That's two weeks in a row. Nice. We got some close action here for second. Seven's got a run on Dan here. Yeah, Ooh, thanks. we got someone pushing up a little bit. The old South Boston set that they had in here with just a few changes made to it. Oh wow, it felt really good there in uh, South Boston set up on a much bigger racetrack. Mm -hmm. Lots of people saying a lot of things. I'm like oh, reading really chat. Good in the long run, my man. Talking about that. I'm always overwhelmed by everything everybody's saying at once. I always, like, I'm not able to pay attention. <laughs> but we are on the final lap, it looks like. Spencer's gonna get that heat race win. Unless something goes wrong on exit here. Speaking of going wrong on exit, James getting loose. Oh, no! Oh, calamity. Oh, a huge track. Calamity! Holy smokes! Just retired from the race. Ouch! That was quite a bit of fireworks for the end of that one. <laughs> I'm actually gonna come out for warm up, see what the track temp is feeling like, and do a couple laps, a couple corners probably in the end, um, just seeing what the track feels like at race pace. I think when coming out of the pits, you definitely want to come up and get on this slight bit of banking here. Helps you carry a lot more speed. Dustin might be getting a uh, penalty. <laughs> Looks like he might have snuck up above the white line, but maybe the officials were looking away. You always gotta hope they're uh, looking at something else. Now, obviously not a big deal though. So we're all just trying to get a little bit of uh, practice before heading out there. I just expect the uh, track to maybe be a bit warmer bit hotter than it was which should be able to help 
keep the car loose. Kind of feels that way. I like it. Use a little bit of throttle control. I'm not using brake. I might end up using brake. That's actually a good thought. I might end up using brake. Long run. Depending on how tight the car gets. I know tire wear is going to be huge here, so... That might be a good idea to set the brake bias back. Did not even think about that, but I might be wishing it were back. It's just it gets loose there. I might be wishing it were farther back once we get, I don't know, lap 70 or something. Something crazy. <laughs> I really hope we have a lot of green laps. This can definitely be a very interesting race here. With lots of comers and goers, with the tire wear the way it is, I think this could be a lot of fun. I definitely don't expect it to be short track messy, but I hope that it's not messy at all and we can just get a whole bunch of green. I can see it happening. But, uh, I'll, be, I'll try to be prepared for anything. All right. Like I said, I'm going to actually put the yeah, you jump in the air for a little bit, but you're fine after that. Hmm. Actually, I just thought about pit entry. I practiced with right, it man. at 68. So I'm going to practice 64. Yep, yep, I'm yep, just yep, worried yep, I'm going to loop it. One. All right, everyone giving their good luck messages. Good luck, everybody. P2. I can't believe P2. I'm feeling so good about that. We're going to try and take it easy. It's done back here. Push the last lap. I don't know why, but every time I've started a race since I updated to the 2060 Super, um, I updated my settings. When I first load in, my frames crack. Okay. Ready to go all already. Plan will be to get to the bottom line as soon as possible. I think that's going to be the best for saving tires. 133 laps here today. This might be a two-stopper, because we're only estimated about 60 laps, and that's probably generous. So I'm going to save fuel. I'm going to try to be thinking about it right away. Because why not? <laughs> yeah, right front already sweating. Yeah. Yes, it is, Leslie. Yes, it is. It is a hot Georgian day. Here it's on iRacing, so. I'm just, I'm 2600 anymore. His right rear tire got uh, healthier somehow. His right front. I ran side. like 40 lap runs, and the best I could get was like 81, 90 or something like that. Second gear start looks like. Yeah, I'm gonna have to back it way down from what I was doing in practice. I ran. I swear, no matter what I do, I always end up starting uh, when P2, I was and I hate it. So. I've gotten like 93 in like five laps. Yeah, that that looks good. Okay, all right, boys, we just stand both on the outside one more time. We're going. Nice arc into one and two. And tire saving initiated. Okay, Already got half a second back there to third. That's Feeling nice. Felt like we got a decent jump. Trying to be on the right rear as much as possible. But don't want to get too aggressive on exit either. Not going to try to pass Scott right now. It's way too early for that. Just 
Uh, I don't want to lift off too much either, though. We'll see. Guess he's let me go. Alright. If you insist, sir, I will get my bonus points. <laughs> So, we will see if I'm bad on the tires. The uh, goal right now is give it a good lift off on entry. Keep going straight for a little bit so you can get a wide arc. And that way I'm taking the apex as straight as possible. Kind of like Nashville Super Speedway in that regard is kind of what I'm thinking about. And then... Uh, Trying to get it on the right rear if I can. As I'm exiting the corner, kind of going through mid corner. Feels good though. Feels like I'm on the right rear. Feeling okay. Oh my god, I'm so glad we're not at <laughs> the super speedway. Am I killing the tires? Probably. Judging by how much I am, uh... Well, in first right now. I am in first, therefore probably going too fast, so... Judging by that, probably not a good sign. But that's alright. Don't feel like I'm killing them either. Heck, maybe I'll use a little bit of brake if I'm pulling away. Maybe I can back down the entries even a little bit more. Most laps led would be very cool. That's another bit of bonus points to me. If I can pull that off. Trying to keep the wheel as straight as possible. Even with the 12 to 1 I like to run. Trying to keep uh, very conscious of how much I'm turning the wheel. I think I could definitely uh, stand to be a little bit lower through the mid corner and near exit. Feels like it gets lots of good turn down there. Down here where Harvick runs. Not quite doing the Harvick line where I'm low, like really low all the way through the corner because I'm kind of taking this really high entry. But follow his example and take it real far down here maybe that'll work out for us so so far so good we are green wonder what the racing's looking like back there gonna definitely check back and see how guys are doing once a little bit of time elapses but I'm gonna let things Did sort out first Just trying to be smooth. We're kind of holding a 0.7 right now. That felt pretty good. Got pretty close to that white line. That lap time was 32.4. It's feeling a little bit tighter. Starting to feel it. Only 12 laps in. But that's going to be everybody. 
that's that's just Sorry, how. Joe, don't let me down. I'm using you to pace myself. That's just how this track is. It'll rip the tires off of it real quick. So I just gotta hope that my tires are wearing a little less bad than everybody else's, or at least similar. Got tight there. Did not like the way that felt. Really glad we're on a hot racetrack, because even with the hot racetrack right now, like from the start, the car felt a little bit tight to me, just for personal preference. So I'm glad that we're out here uh, with a slicker racetrack. I should have joined earlier. This is a million times better than some of the other leagues I'm in. That's interesting to hear. I already know this is a million times better than other, or than uh, official racing. Most official Please racing. Don't join on Bristol Day. <laughs> yeah. Um, but to hear it's better than even some other leagues, that's very interesting. Scott, holy smokes, he's falling off hard, it looks like. I know Chuck's catching up to us. He might know how to save tires just a little bit better. So he might be catching up to us before too long. Uh, getting tight. I'm glad I put the brake bias back. Because we are using it here. I'm using just a tap of it on entry. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back here. And I don't trust myself too much to remember, but I'm really going to try. I want to try to remember to put it back up before we do green flag pit stops. Chuck is on his way though. I think he's definitely gaining on us. But that's okay. Um, we've definitely got the track position. We've got the ultimate track position at the moment. Yeah, I'll let you buy me shine on the bottle. So even if we fall back a little bit, I don't need to win the race. We've got a long-term goal here that we're aiming for. Obviously wins are good, but I am very happy with the position I'm in right now, regardless. Especially getting these laps, maybe I can get most laps led. Still very early, obviously, though. But something to think about. Yeah, I'm just trying to find a hole to sit in for a while. How many laps is the first stage? <laughs> first stage. There aren't any, I don't think. Yeah. No, no stages. That'd be kind of cool, fire racing head stages. I think everybody would hate yeah. it. Yeah, it, I guess it wouldn't be kind of cool. Because, <laughs> like, what would be the point? Like, we don't have championship points or whatever to gain at the end of the stages. If there was a league that ran with stages, that'd be kind of neat, I guess. This one does not. I feel like we get enough cautions anyway. I've mulled over this idea, and I think that... Uh, I'm going to say no to stages, <laughs> in my own personal preference, because the uh, all green races are just too much fun. We gained a little bit back on Chuck. That makes me feel pretty good. We went from point 0.8 point 0.9. It was pretty bad on the tires right there. I did not like that got on the gas a little bit too hard, a little bit too early, so I'm going to have to be more patient. I'm going to 
keep monitoring that gap back there. One and two is a struggle. It's interesting because normally I feel like uh, three and four is the one that usually feels a little bit tighter. Typically, that's why you uh, have more trouble running the high line in three and four. If you, usually the track runs a little bit tighter it seems like but I'm feeling more tightness running the line that I am in one and two which is pretty curious not what, have I, what I would have expected and that could just be my inputs it could be my turn in points something I'm doing in other words rather than the track itself but just relaying what I'm kind of feeling right now Thirty-nine would get us to the lock time was sixty-four, sixty, sixty-five. Ooh, can we one-stop this? Uh-oh, should I have been saving tires this whole time? <laughs> so if we do forty to sixty, oh, that's so close to being able to make it. The gap behind is now not point nine. That is so close to being able to make it. Oh my gosh, what a tough decision to have to make. That's kind of scary, actually. Eight. Oh my gosh, what do I do? I think I, I just I can't be the first person to commit to something. I'm gonna have to see what other guys around me are doing. I can't take any huge risks. Just gonna have to uh, kind of react to what everybody else is doing. I think. Took that uh, too wide, uh, too high up in the, on the entry. I entered like I was gonna take the high line for some reason. Just need to focus on my uh, on my line. That was not a good lap. Jesus, Ty Gibbs is here? Holy smokes, Ty Gibbs is here, guys. Holy hell, this fall off. Isn't it amazing? Okay, Chuck's coming up on me now. Bizarre. Anything. I love it. I love the fall off, even if it's gonna hurt me here in a minute. <laughs> caution. Oh my gosh! A caution. That makes things interesting. And again, when it's closed. Oh, that's not good. We think Moody has gone off. Four forty-three. Just gonna hold his line whatsoever. Uh oh. I let the pace car out by. Yeah, they're good the one stop strategy. I was really interested in how close it was too. Let the pace car by. Did you have made it on fuel? Oh no. I don't think there's any way that was gonna work with the kind of tire fall off. But maybe I don't know. One stop it? Forget about it. Stop again. <laughs> yeah, there's no way. Now this car fall off. I guess I'm glad that I didn't try it, man. Right 71.84. Why did I come out third? Did I have a bad stop? I feel like I did everything okay. Hmm. Oh well. I guess I was slow into my box. 
7985. I'm pushing a lot harder than I realize. So I was looking at yeah, other people's here. numbers. I was good on the right, getting it on the right rear, but everyone else was so much better on the right front. Uh, I used to be able to rip the top here and get a hell of a run down the back stretch, but that's not really happening here. Not for me, anyway. You know what it is? It's, you know what the weird thing is? It doesn't even feel like I'm pushing that hard. One to go. Next That's a there for you. Up on There's the a reason I let you guys by and then I didn't let you guys back by when you tried to push. That's interesting. I guess I was slow into my box. Those guys must have just had really good stops, but no big deal. Third place is fine. 63. So... 50 laps from now ish. Lap 81 maybe is a good time to pit. Can't make it to the end. I'm saving fuel just to give myself options. If I want to go out and stay longer on the track, it's zero too. Well, at least you got it on the right rear as well. Run number two, let's do it. Pace car is off, time to do your job. The pace car is in. Green 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 green. Green. Jeez, the spotter didn't even tell me the pace car was off. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Car outside, still there. Stay low. Clear high. Alright. Things all sorted out here. Okay, Compton, the next car is car outside. Keep low. Alright, come on guys, we can't be doing this on intermediates now too. We're under caution, pits are closed, pace cars out, line up, single file, behind car number 2007. Why are you guys racing so hard back here? They're doing that up here too, people driving like crazy because of the first restart. I hope the short tracks aren't contagious. I'm just glad I made it through it. The two in front of me racing side by side since the restart. Thanks, Gordon. Alright. Definitely can't come in now, obviously. Only three sets of tires, and we have two left. So. Yeah, I'll just let them go. Let them burn their tires up. Well, that kind of stinks. That was a little bit too quick for another caution, to be honest, but... That's all right. Did you guys do that, Joe? Yeah, I... somehow. What happened? Checking up, checking up back here. I also want to know what happened. But we might never know. Except for the incidents afterward, where we'll see everything. I guess we'll go ahead and go through the field here, after we've had a couple, uh... Cautions, and... A decent long run to start it. We got Chuck up front right now, obviously, right in front of us. We are in P2, right where we started the race. <laughs> but we led a lot of laps, which is pretty cool. 
Pace car is out. Pits are closed. Nice. Short and caution. I love it. Uh, Wesley in fourth. JP in fifth. Alex in eighth. Kind of just naming guys that I recognize more. Scott down there in ninth. He was having a uh, fuel saving run on the start, I think, because he was saying he was going to try to one stop it. Mitch has made his way up to 10th after starting, I think, like 21st, so he's uh, trying to make a charge. You're going to have to keep an eye on that, huh? And Billy in 11th. Justin hanging on 12th. Good stuff. I'm sure he was being patient early on and still plans to be. He's uh, going to be great on long runs, I bet. Gavin in 14th. Shane and Nick next to each other, 18 and 19. Jeremy 20th. Kind of going a little faster because we are about to get started again here soon. Daniel 26th. And then Joe in 31st. He might have been in that a little bit, whatever's been happening. Oh, no. Landon has had trouble. That's That sucks. It sounds like somebody failed to hold their line at some point, I remember him saying. So... Probably got wrecked from that. But, gonna get ready to go here pretty soon. Get ready, so. going green. The pace car is in, pace car is off. Off. Green flag, green flag. Keep those open. You're back in second. Didn't get the gray to start. Inside. Keep high. Keep high. Stay high. I don't know how that happened, but we are now on the outside. I am almost getting run over by Wesley. Trying to stick tires here. That was close. Time was 33.9. Can't let myself overdrive because I'm worried about guys behind and stuff. I've got to remain disciplined. Just got to trust that the racing's going to be clean and they'll uh, not run me over. My tires were not as good as I would have hoped, though, after that first run. Even though I was out in first, they were catching me pretty good. So, I'd like to do a little bit better this time if possible. Chuck looks like he's getting some distance, that's fine. I'm gonna just race to a pace. Try to maintain it. Gonna try to keep the uh, session last lap probably around 0.00. .00. That's probably what I'm gonna be aiming for. Here. Someone's in the wall. Oh, Justin in the wall. I wonder if he alt F forward. Oh man, he had such a good start. Oh no, that sucks. Oh my gosh, he probably was being really nice and ended up in the wall and was afraid it was going to call the caution. So we still got one anyway. Come on, guys. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> you scared me so bad. That wasn't my clutch pedal. <laughs> he slammed on the brakes. <laughs> Alright, just because there's a restart doesn't mean we got to try to go as hard as we can. Holy cow, I'm stupid. Alright. Pace car in three again. <laughs> oh, that was funny. <laughs> if you want to um, rock, just go run the official line. line. That's embarrassing. Still can't make it to the end. I'm trying to give you space. Woo! All right. Yeah, that happened. Well, 
Well, Nick, I hate you got took out, but I'm glad I got around you when I did. Where Checking up on front stretch. Wonder if he means Nick King or Nick Neben. Looks like Nick's fine. Nick Neiman's fine. It's probably Nick King. Yes, it would look that way. No, Nick is right in front of me. Yeah. Nick King. Man, Nick between Nick. Saint Nick coming up. December. <laughs> Adding a third Nick to the mix. So, me and my infinite wisdom managed to lock up the tires under caution. Trying to save barely any fuel for no reason. Don't think that should have done much, maybe. <laughs> Hurt my tires a little bit, but I'm more embarrassed than anything. Because that was pretty dumb. A little out of practice. <laughs> I haven't been be able to race as much this week. Unfortunately. Um, I'm right there with you, Jake. I gave up fifth place last week because of that. Work has been super crazy again. But also it's super speedway week, so am I really missing anything? But Yeah, go full Tommy Stewart if you have to. There's some road series I would have would really like to try and maybe I'll still get the chance before it changes That's tomorrow. Like we'll but <laughs> let's see. NASCAR drivers has somebody else that cleans it up for them too. Yeah, yeah. I, and I'd have to buy a bunch of new shit and I don't want to do that. I wish my fuel calculator worked. 27.6. Make sure you always lay a towel down on your seat first. We definitely don't need 27 gallons. Man, That's not all correct. you guys are, are just missing the the key point diapers there are adult diapers for a reason i mean oh my I'm goodness not where's this conversation going <laughs> don't worry your secret's safe my wife would probably divorce me if i went that far <laughs> i'd probably divorce myself if i went that far although it's a good idea Not gonna lie, when I ran late models, I wore an adult diaper one time because I was sick to my stomach. Thank goodness I didn't have to use it. <laughs> one to go. Next time by. You're on the outside this time. Okay, great. Next time by. Well, Tony Stewart I mean, did yeah, it. Mine's a little so. self-inflicted because I like to drink a few beers, but you know. If Tony Stewart can do it, didn't you know that you're not supposed to drink and drive? Nah, I don't. I thought that just meant soda. Just bring your laptop to the bathroom. You can use a touchpad to drive, right? Sit on the toilet. Look at me lined up next to the 05. I'm going to stop this conversation right now because it's only going to get worse. It's going to get more gross. And also, we're one to green, so let me focus on racing and using the correct pedals. That would be nice. Try to use the gas pedal instead of the brake pedal. <laughs> While we're going green. Hmm. Get ready, going green. It's pretty close on fuel. A couple more cautions, we might be able to make it, but I don't know. Kind of a weird situation. The pace car is off. The pace car is off. Be ready. Green flag, green flag. I almost jumped it. I think we're fine though. All right. Is it me or is the pace club looking in and out for anybody? Probably not actually happening. Okay. I guess. JP's up here. I could be blinking as well, but I don't know. I don't know if you meant to leave me in there, 13, but I appreciate it. And JP's ready to go. I won't fight him if he wants to. I'm uh, saving tires a little bit more right now.
So if he wants to get a run on me, go ahead and go on by. Goes. I saw him take that wider entry to get a better run. Clear. Make that exchange as smoothly and quickly as possible. JP's good enough. He might be able to go that fast and save tires better than me, though. So I gotta be careful. It does look like he's getting on that right rear. Looked like he uh, had the car yawed out quite a bit. A little bit too low there. Got the apron just a tiny bit. Hey, I hope I can do better this run. Uh, be nice to the right front. I felt like I was okay. I felt like I was doing okay last time, but I was a little bit too hard on the right front, so... Trying to back it down. I don't know what JP's doing on the quad oval. <laughs> That's just giving away time, though. Taking the high line on the, on the front stretch. That's an interesting choice. Not sure what that's about. Maybe he knows the advanced strats, I don't. Like, save tire, taking the high line and the quad oval. Pro tip. Uh, doesn't that just seem weird though? Like, look, I'm gonna gain like a, I don't know, half tenth on him? Doing that? I don't know. Landon asking if Mitch has damage. wonder what's going on back there. I wonder if he's looking off pace. Maybe he's trying to make it a single stop. Oh, well, okay. We can't make it. There's no way. Chuck's gonna take my lap's lead. He's gonna take away those bonus points. That's okay. I gotta worry about where I'm gonna finish more than I worry about that. If I blow my tires off, just trying to get those bonus points, then I'm gonna lose more at the end of the race than I would have gained just by leading the laps. Good consistency. Keep them coming. I'm not feeling as good the second round, I'll be honest. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I'm just not quite hitting the marks as well as I would like. Car just doesn't seem to be turning as well. Like, it doesn't feel tight, it just doesn't... I don't know. Probably all in my head. Things probably just look more uh, shiny from P1. <laughs> it's probably all it is. But I'm using the same braking... Or not braking, but lift-off points and everything. Anything should be any different. Hmm. I really don't want to get on the inside of JP. He's just not taking the. <laughs> Quad oval. It's really strange. I don't know why he would do that. It's eating tight. It's like he lost a lot of speed mid corner right there. Ah, I really didn't want to do this. 
Here we go. I'm not going to race before, man. I ain't going to race. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I don't want to be lifting a bunch, you know? Oh well. I think he might just be falling off. So we gained a lot of speed on him on exit there. Please, he's still doing that weird thing in the quad over That's so strange. <laughs> I would love to hear, like, maybe he was trying to let me go that whole time. <laughs> I didn't feel like I was faster than I didn't want to do that. Didn't want to try to get by him, but oh well. I'm gonna start using the little bit of brake again. Um, I, it doesn't feel tight yet, but I don't want it to feel tight, right? So if I can get out ahead of it and start using a little bit of brake before it starts feeling any tight, hey, maybe that'll be uh, maybe that'll be good for me. I actually met Brad Smith in uh, Toledo last month. Uh, it didn't feel like a good corner. Did you meet him at the Speedway? Yep, him and a whole bunch of uh, other drivers. I just don't feel as consistent. This run, to be honest with you. Your lap time was... We were probably feet away from each other and didn't even know it then. Heh. <laughs> That's funny. So, tried to back it down a little bit more this run. Hopefully doing better on the right front. That lap was a 33.0. Me too. That remains to be seen. Looks like we might be sneaking up on Chuck just a bit, but if that's because I saved better, or if I'm just pushing a little bit too hard right now, I don't know. Pulling away from the guys behind. Even Chuck up there is not really using the quad oval all the way. I mean, if I'm seeing everybody else do not do that, it's probably because I'm doing the wrong thing, to be honest. It is, it's minimal, but I feel like if you're going to do it 133 times, it adds up, right? <laughs> I don't know, I'm full of nonsense, I bet. Maybe I should focus on getting through the corners optimally rather than trying to shave off microseconds on the quad oval. But we are not even halfway through this thing yet. I'm just going to start pitting whenever guys around me start pitting. I'm not going to try to short pit anything like that. You've just done a 33.2. Reason to uh, accidentally pit at just the worst time or something. Put myself into danger. Wesley might be coming up on us now. Looks like he might have gained a little bit of time for a minute. I felt like I was starting to drive a little bit too hard, so I'm slowing it down a little bit. Chuck might gain a little bit of time once more. That's okay.
Now I'm kind of starting to get under the rhythm again. For a while there, I was really just feeling like I wasn't hitting my marks right. It just wasn't clicking all too well. I feel like I'm starting to get that back a little bit. That feels pretty good. Half a second in front and behind us right now. Go low, Mitch. Hitting it. Interesting. With the cautions we got, I don't know if you want to be pitting in necessarily right now at a little before halfway. Maybe he didn't take tires early on. Okay, Colton. I don't know. It's interesting though. Maybe he was struggling really bad on tires and he's just really needing to uh, do better on the next run or something, who knows. I think he uploads his videos as well, without commentary, but just, uh, I think he said just as an archival. I think I saw on Nick's new Discord channel, like, on the uh, tab where you can post uh, your own channel, your own YouTube, YouTube channel to share, I think he, he said something about it there. That's where I saw it. So we gained a little bit back on Wesley back there. Kind of like going back and forth here on Chuck. Gain a little bit, lose a little bit. I'm happy with where we are. Landon leaves, that sucks. He definitely was caught in some sort of accident early on. And uh, I think he just pulled it off the track. We haven't seen any lap traffic, I don't think. I don't remember if we did. Oh, man, Jeremy did something. Oh, my God, Joe, did you live? Yeah, if I miss another one. It looked like he bounced right over you. He probably did. So we have to take uh, tires here. It's just, you have to. Especially because uh, we should be able to get to the end now on fuel. Pit road is now open. Second here out of two. Base car in the middle three four. Let me uh not lose two spots on pit road this time. I really must have just eased it into my stall too gently last time. Watch your speed. The lead car's pitting. to stop again to get to the end. So Chuck will be pitting before yeah. us because I qualified second and he was not the pole sitter. No spider, I'm not pulling up behind the pit car. Two, one, right here. Okay. 76, 86. Aha! 59-59. Gained a spot that time. Nice. There's no way. There's no way he had that as the tires. I don't believe that. Unless he didn't pit from the start, then maybe. 78-88. Yep. So I'm still being a little harsh. On the uh, straight front. Kind of weird because I feel like I was pushing harder that time, but I don't know. Maybe I found a better line. It's open. I don't know. I think I just more rubber on the track will help too. Interesting. Thank you for that information. We're pretty similar to everyone else, though, with the tires. 
more laps led. I wonder where we're at in total. Be interesting if you could check that. Laps. I don't think there's any tab here that says how many laps I've led or anything. So it is interesting. We've got only one set of tires left. Gonna have to use them wisely. I'm thinking we could potentially go green to the end, though. I just, I know we can. I know it's possible. So, gotta be prepared in case it does go green. 63.9. Hmm, that's really close. So, I'm gonna, I'm glad I'm, uh, clutching right now. No worries, Wesley. Uh, sorry for getting into you earlier. I sort of yanked the steering wheel when I was shifting gears. Yeah, I'm not pitting in. I hit the wrong button. I was wondering why Shane was pitting in. Shane with the pit fake. You almost got me. I almost pit there. <laughs> totally unintentional, but if you went back in, it'd been your own fault. <laughs> yeah, I'm not so sure about that strategy. <laughs> That half a percent we just used on the tires under caution is going to make a big difference. <laughs> hey, you never know. No, I built a new button box this week and I'm still getting used to my new button. Hey, here at Atlanta, maybe it was a full percent. You never know. <laughs> so... We will be leaving the field here. I'm going to go early. Because that's what I like to do. That's the way I like to be. I'm going to go as soon as it says pace cars off. Alright. It is a nice little advantage, I will say. Getting that jump. Certainly beats being P2, I'll tell you that. Fight through the loose there. I try to be on the right rear more this time. Gavin brought up a good point. He said that uh, you know, more rubber on the track is going to be nicer to tires. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I can get that uh, most laps led too. We're back out here. Back out here uh, with the empty air in front of us, so. What a fun track, though. I like Atlanta a lot. You're in the lead. Old Atlanta. I guess I need to specify now. Sadly. I like Legacy Atlanta. <laughs> Not Atlanta Super Speedway. Feel like I'm getting on the right rear pretty good. See how much I'm getting on the right front, though, as well. That sucks, Jeremy. I wonder what happened. He, he did something, it sounds like. Took the blame for it and gave an apology. Don't know what it was, though. 
Yeah, that was a good turn down there on the low side. I'm thinking Chuck, though, is going to be able to get past me eventually. Uh, I think he's able to be fast and be good on the tires. So it's going to be a huge challenge trying to stay in front of him. I'm going to give him my best, but it's going to be very difficult. Got about a second back to third there. Looks like JP and Scott are fighting for position. That lap time was 32.1. Feeling better. I don't know what it was about that second run. Maybe because I was around other guys and I had to think about what they were doing and stuff. But I uh, felt like I got distracted a little bit. Was not hitting my marks quite right. Feeling better now though. Trying to maximize min max <laughs> here. Taking the shortest way around the quad oval. Get as close to that white line as I can. Middle to exit before keeping the wheel as straight as possible when heading towards turns two and turns four exit. A little bit too long before getting on the throttle there. That hurt my time. We'll see how it goes. I'm hoping that, uh, I mean, I felt like, despite what the tires said, I did better on the right front, but it felt like the tires were not as even during the second run. So I feel like I was happier with how run number one went, so I'm kind of going back to how that felt more now. Do a little bit wider exit, a little bit more aggressive on throttle. Going back toward that a little bit. And uh, while I might be worse on the right front, I'm hoping that the tires will be more even overall because I'll be on the right rear more and therefore give me better long run speed. We'll see. But that's the thought process. Car's feeling good though. Feels like I'm getting a lot to turn. Start using a little bit of brake on entry. Still be aggressive on throttle on exit. But maybe use a little bit on entry. So I'm, so I'm not as much on the right front. Maybe that's the key. I don't know. I feel like hitting the brake is almost like pushing the nose or something, and it's making it hard to get turn in. I don't know if that's actually doing me any favors. It might be what I need to do later. I don't know if that's what I want to be doing now, though. I could be talking nonsense, by the way. <laughs> this is just me trying to interpret what the car is telling me. Well, I will say... Okay, we got that negative three already. Uh, no, uh, no green flag pit stops, I don't think, to the end. I, I think I gotta stop doing the brake thing. It doesn't feel like it's helping me. It feels like I'm just getting less on the right rear. It feels like it's pushing the nose and not even helping all that much on entry. Is 
Mm, didn't feel like that. Didn't get the turn in I wanted there. Alright, let's get the consistency back. Your lock time was 32.7. Car's not turning as well anymore. I think I might have to use the brakes. Should have stuck with it, maybe. I don't know, man. Kind of like what I said earlier. Even if I don't win this thing, I feel like I'm in a good position to finish well. Get some good points. So even if I end up losing the lead disappointingly. That's far from the end of the world. That's still a good run, I think. I think I should be able to keep it uh, within the top five, worst case scenario, just top ten, you know? Obviously not counting crashing. Crashing's the actual worst case scenario, but that's kind of like the obvious worst case scenario. Like, of course, that can always happen. Try to get a wider corner, maybe. I don't know. I just I don't think I'm as good at saving tires as a lot of these fast guys. That was a thirty-three point one. gonna be my uh, my downfall here like I said I think Chuck can uh, be fast and save tires I don't think I have that ability I'm liking what I'm doing here though when I'm getting into a rhythm getting it slowed down pretty well entering the corner It doesn't feel off. It just feels like it's getting slower. And uh, it feels like it's getting slower than the guys behind are getting slower. <laughs> so, trying to be more generous with the brake. Uh, I did not like how tight that got on exit. I don't think I was wide enough on entry. And I'm trying my best. It's closing out and about a half second behind. Lots of laps to go too. Oh, I got really loose. That was weird. Not really what the feeling I was expecting there. I should try to aim for that some more. Your last lap time was at thirty-three point three. Okay. I kind of like that. I'm driving it a little bit higher, a little harder, higher.
Okay. We've got new developments. The lap time was at 33.2. I think using a little bit more brake. Aha! Okay, it's starting to feel really loose now. That's not at all what I was expecting. If I can harness this, I think we have some new life in this run. At least until it gets super tight all of a sudden and I hit the wall or something stupid. <laughs> Which could happen. There's always that possibility. The wall is always a possibility. Never let anyone suggest to you otherwise. The wall is always there, ready. Ready for you and your car. So, we are approaching... What's that? It's about 30... Five laps to go? I don't know, something like that. I can't math right now. I'm a little busy, don't you see? Who here's expect me to do math? I'm driving. Jeez. We need like rally car style, uh, like rally rally cross style guy with the map in the passenger seat. He can do the math, get his calculator out. I mean, essentially that's what a crew chief is, right? Except in instead of the passenger seat, they're sitting on the pit box. Why well, you gotta do this to me, man? Yep, they went to the fuel mileage. I think we're fine on fuel. It was close, but I think we were fine on fuel. This car's way up here. Oh no, Ryan. Ryan, I didn't feel like I turned into you, but I'm sorry if I did. Yeah, I might have given you here. enough room, so I'm not sure. Left up, 34, carbine. I feel like I was going to make yeah, it just it fine. Yeah, I was good by a gallon. Pit road is now open. Sorry, I was actually going to pick the three last. 34. Yeah. I was one lap to the good. Not pushing too hard. Kind of surprised guys were gonna pit. To be honest, we just gotta is come in right JP? now. No, I don't no, think mine is. Watch your speed limit in the pits. We'll need to stop again. We got a little bit of a gap behind us. Hopefully, we can hold on to P1 here. Stopped. 74.83. We're done. Get going. That's it for tires. Make them last the rest of the race. Line up single file. Catch up. Okay. 4.83. That's a silly thing in reverse. Seventy-two eighty-six that time. I was really bad to my fucks. Two eighty-six. Seventy-four seventy-five. Alright, I'm feeling good about how that went. That doesn't even feel like it did anything different. Oh. We got some guys saving tires. Alright, I see ya. I made a few passes on the outside, so I knew I was being worse on my right front. That's an understandable move. It's going to be scary, but that's an understandable move. I got really nervous. I was going to fall really bad at the end, but thank you. That caution One to go. Next time by, you'll be running up on the June side. Yeah, I was already starting to fall. I couldn't keep up with you and Nick anymore. 
I didn't see what Chuck had. Though. I don't feel like I'm really interested in knowing what he had. After I backed it off of it, but. So we have these tires till the end. Yeah. I'm not these guys are saving a set. Ground, but I feel like I'm not consistent. Old tires up front as well, so be careful, everybody. Uh-huh. Not too bad. I'm going to trust that Mitch isn't going to spin the tires. A caution, that could benefit I'll, them. I'll give them a little bit. I'll give them a little bit of room, but I feel like I can trust them to uh, get it going. All right, man, if I take everybody out, but hopefully I did not just speak that in the system. I don't know, somebody lost on connection. Vent. Get ready, going green. How many of the fans did out? Post car is off. Post car is off, time to do your job. Green, green, green. green, green. The next car's the leader. You're back in second. They're wrecking! That's Chuck! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. Oh no, I spotted into a system. Oh, that was a bad place for that to happen, too. Oh, that sucks. I weeped the three or four guys there. I'm really surprised I didn't get destroyed. Did the guy that didn't pit cause that? I really hate that for Chuck. He was having a great run. Yeah, he was super bad. That I sucks so bad. I that into a distance. What happened? Did someone just open them up? Now they wrecked on the entry to one. I'm not sure if they just got stacked up because the slower tires were so much slower. But I don't know. I That's my guess. Wow, so quickly things can change. That's what I'm. Yeah, that's why I. Sooner than later, in my opinion. That's why I don't take anything for granted because that could have been me, a hundred percent. Easily could have been me. Dumb pit stop because I don't think uh, not taking tires after that long of a run with this much fall off has ever been a call I made. <laughs> it happened right where he got narrow going into one where he always hit the wall. This is going to hurt Mitch's strategy too, even though he's still up front right now. Uh, we're not using our new tires at all. So the amount he gains... Maybe he bounced off the wall, I don't know. With a late caution, where he can take tires, it's going to be less. So immediate caution, we should get a shortened caution period. Now I gotta start P2, and that kind of stinks, but it's okay. And we got three or four wide on turn one. Hmm. I really appreciate that we go one to green. It's open. Well, Mitch got his uh, bonus points for leading. <laughs> I, I can definitely see that move for him, though. So we get done here. Get those bonus points. He, uh,. It's a bit of a risk, but he does have the chance of getting a late caution and being able to fly by guys on fresh tires. It's it's kind of like a Hail Mary move, but assuming he was running like 15th or something, or even like just past the, uh, you know, just outside of the top 10 or something. I can see him do like needing to do that if he wants to get Caution up there. happened before we got a lap in. Oh, I was I was wondering that last week. Yeah. Like we couldn't make up like I initially thought we couldn't make up our minds as to like how Ooh, we were Nick just disqualified the guy that didn't take tires. It must have been his fault. At least here you don't have to try to cut it down coming out of the corner.
Well, let's uh, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully, we go green to the end. I feel like I'm in a good position now. Get ready, going green. Pace car is off. The pace car is in. We're green, green, green. green. Grinowski is leading the race. Outside. Mitch very kindly taking the higher line there, knowing he's on older tires. That's a very wise move. That shows experience right there, I think. I would have uh, definitely done what I needed to do and... Sorry, I'm really focusing on that. I definitely would have done what I needed to do and go around his outside if he did hold that bottom line. It would have been understandable. But he uh, didn't feel the need to risk it. Nick having a fantastic run. Not sure what if he's doing any unique strategies or anything. He's got two tires, or if he just slowly made his way up the field, but I feel like I haven't seen him on the relative too much. <clears throat> Excuse me. I guess with some guys getting taken out, like Chuck. Those are spots he's gaining. Might be how he found his way up there. Hmm. I don't know, man. Kind of driving a little bit harder right now because not much time to go. That's definitely making me nervous back there. I don't want to lose track position. I really don't. Lots of good rotation on entry right there. Almost was a little bit too much. It got a little bit scary, but we're fine. The car's definitely sticking better than it was. Must be that rubber on the track, I guess. Right back there. Backing up my entries, I think it kind of got Wesley a little off kilter there. But I'm going to do what I have to do. I think I'm being unreasonable how I'm taking the corner. Side by side, I like to see that. Nick going for second. It feels like I'm not getting on my right rear as much this run. That's concerning me. Don't like how I took that at all. I took that way too shallow. I gotta arc it more into the corner than that. So Nick behind us now. That's surprising. That's a great pass because I know Wesley was pushing pretty hard. Nick's definitely got some speed, it would seem. Kind of getting back into the rhythm now. Feeling pretty good. A 
The more they fight in my mirror, the happier I am. Feeling like I'm getting that rotation again. Be happy with how that's going. No cautions, please. If we get caution at just the wrong time, Mitch is going to just get <laughs> lightning speed and probably pass everybody with the extra set of tires that I presume he has. I'm, a, I'm kind of assuming. Like, I don't know if maybe he just used another set earlier in the race or something. That could always be true, but I'm fairly certain he didn't pit because he uh, wanted to save a set of tires going for the uh, risk it for the biscuit move. <laughs> Big question now is, am I driving too hard? Am I going to fall off at the end of this run? I'm hoping not. Car felt a little tight there, though. Hitting in, that's interesting. Might start using the brakes now. Just that tiny bit on entry to get it slowed down and ready for the rest of the corner. Getting close to the end of this thing though, 14 to go. Oh man, Nick fell off hard. Where'd he go? Where'd Nick go? Did he get loose? If you want to know where Nick went, be sure to check out his channel. <laughs> that sucks. I saw Gavin for a second though when I scrolled down for a moment, so that's cool. Go Gavin, always rooting for Gavin. MVP of this race is, of course, Nick for changing it from a super speedway to a not super speedway. Because I would definitely, almost assuredly, be dead and sitting in the pits with a broken car right now if it were the super speedway. That was a bad corner. Be patient on the throttle. Ooh. It's only point six back right now. It's to point seven, but it's kind of going back and forth. I am concerned. Let's get it on that right rear. Come on, tires. Hold together just a little bit longer. Ten to go. Great job. Ten to go. I wonder if I have most laps lettered. Probably pretty close with Chuck, but I don't think Chuck's leading any more laps, unfortunately.
Leslie is not going away. He's right there, lurking. Smooth, no mistakes. Mitch on pit road. Or is he just that far off pace? I thought he was on pit road. That's not good for him. Wesley has, is, I'm pretty sure he's been like 0.6 if you're like 10 laps he's just ready waiting for me to make a mistake ready to pounce great rotation there that felt like a good corner was it faster than last lap though? That's concerning. I feel like I hit my mark and I didn't even get a good corner. Come on, car, just a little bit longer, please. You can do it. Used a little bit more brake that time. I like how that felt. I say losing another tenth to Wesley. Oh boy, this is gonna get close, I think. Oh boy. Are we gonna end up with a 2001 Kevin Harvick Jeff Gordon finish? I hope not. I would like it to be a little less stressful than that. Car is getting tight. I don't like that. I don't like that. Managed it the best I could. like a good corner. I mean, I'm still in the corner, but it felt like a good corner. <laughs> now it felt like a good corner. Alright, we gained a little. I like it. I really hate that Chuck got taken out, or maybe didn't get taken out, just crashed. I still haven't seen exactly what happened. That sucks, though. Uh, he was going to be a very tough competitor. Heck, we could have been like side by side right now <laughs> if he were still in the race. Maybe I'm, <laughs> maybe I'm a little bit too confident, and maybe he would be a, a second ahead. But <laughs> I feel like uh, we could have had ourselves a good race uh, with him. So that really sucks. But uh, I guess we're okay because something happened to Wesley. He is now a second behind. But, uh, whatever caused him to lose about a second or so, he didn't lose a full second, he lost like three tenths. Whatever caused him to lose a, like three tenths, that could happen to me too, so. They might be fighting for a second, though. And then Scott... One more to go. We need just four more good turns. One more lap. Keep it together. We'll win this. That lap was up at 33.4. Took it really high on entry there. Got me a good runoff, though. Don't start smiling now. Gotta finish this off. Job's not done. 
Yes, we did it. Oh my gosh. I am so Good happy. Race, Good race, Colton. Great race at the end. Congrats on the win, Colton. Nice job. Oh, I'm so happy. Thanks. Great race. That was a lot of fun. Yes. Yeah, let me tell you, two tires is a bad idea. Ooh, he went two tires. Not not working out for him. Oh, I'm so happy. I wondered why you were driving back so hard. Ooh. Hit the wall. Well, yeah, I was basically dirt tracking it out of two, like, ten knots in a row. Yeah! Yeah, I saw you uh, get loose a couple times. Put a dash through the Atlanta. That's off the checklist. <laughs> I was hoping for another yellow and gambled on favor. I tell you what, though, tire, that was this was, was not going to happen idea. at the super speedway. Well, maybe this would happen, but it would be because I'm crashing. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so happy. So let's see uh, the finishing order. Do do do. We get the win! Yes! 66, 75, I'll go ahead and share that. Let's see what others were saying. Shane. Six, seven, five. It looks like I'm just getting on the right rear really well, and that really helped me out. Evening those tires, just about a 9% difference. All right. Uh, oh no, Alex got somebody. We'll see the incidents here in just a moment. And uh, we got Scott in second, Wesley with the bronze medal. Gavin and Nick both pull it in top five, awesome. Can't wait to watch their perspectives, always a lot of fun. Yeah, I do wish we had longer runs. Um, I don't know if I pull this off otherwise. I feel like I got a little bit better at saving tires, kind of once I figured out how I wanted to go about it, get it on the right rear the way I did. But I don't know, maybe the other guys would have been better at it. And of course, if we don't have that restart, Chuck gets taken out. He has a good shot at winning the thing. So, what else we got? Shane in sixth. Alex with a nice top 10. Great to see you. As, as well as JP. Sorry if I skip your name. It's just because I don't know you as well. <laughs> Not because I'm like, oh, I don't care that Dylan finished seventh. <laughs> no, good job to him as well. Good job to everybody. Uh, it sucks we had a handful of cautions. We could have had longer runs for sure, but uh, it wasn't a complete mess like a Bristol or Myrtle Beach or something. So that's great. Mitch finishes 18th. So his, his strategy... Unfortunately, it didn't work out for him. He was hoping for a caution near the end, and it really uh, <laughs> would have done great things for him if it had happened that way, but we went green to the end, and that's what I was kind of counting on. That's why I definitely wanted to take my last set of tires, because I felt like we could get it done. Oh, uh, we'll see what happened to Justin, and Landon for that matter. With how quick uh, Justin disappeared, I think he must have alt F4 maybe after getting into the wall or something, because I think someone some, someone mentioned somebody was in the wall. So. Alright. Yeah. I figured he saved a set for that. He ended up with 40 67. That's, those are some rough tires right there. It really would have worked out for him, though, I think, if he got, got the luck he needed. But time for the incidents. As we wait for it to load, we would have gained 42 live rating. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. See, we got some wall on the lap too. Not much going on there though. Daniel's just blinking a bit. Ooh, heavy wall on entry. We went again, solid points day. <laughs> yeah, you can say that.
yeah, uh, definitely could have flipped on its head with one more caution at just the right time. Trying to keep it going. I'm sitting here praying for it. <laughs> yeah. See, it's time. So what happened? Justin got the wall on entry, I think is what I saw. Oof. Yeah. So it's a medium hit. I wouldn't, I wouldn't classify that as a heavy hit. A little more than a light tap, though. Probably a moderate classification of wall hit. <laughs> Here's the rare breed of straightaway wall hit. Kind of stuck it to him until he got to the corner, though. There, that uh, safer barrier can really jump out at you as well. Nick mentioned that even in practice. He was getting annoyed by the uh, thing. Ooh. Oh, okay. That's what happened. That's what happened to Landon. Yeah. It, uh... 43, yeah, he did say he turned down him, yeah. Landon was there. Well, he wasn't there. That's interesting. Because 43 definitely didn't need to keep turning down on him. But was he even, was his nose on him? Oh, that's closer than I thought it was. So 43 is ready to take the corner. I don't know if Landon expected him to go... Like, such a huge cut down like that. So 43 gets on the brakes hard, so that way he can uh, full throttle it through the rest of the corner. But uh, he wasn't there before entry. And so those they just went for the same spot. That's a tough one to call. Uh, I know the uh, the whole, like, diving in on the inside thing is more of a... <laughs> so, how did, uh, how did... Daniel do. I'll just get my things. Where did he finish? Uh, I'm blind. I can't see where he finished. Did he finish? Yeah, he finished pretty well. 13th. 32nd. Uh, 13th. That's a... For making my deal start. 0.5 back from you. After I thought I was fast for two. <laughs> I see. I thought he got loose or something. <clears throat> so, yeah, that was a, that kind of was unfortunate. It really sent Landon all up into the wall. Just stupid tight. That makes sense. He went, uh, he was going hard on the last run. Uh, what am I doing? How do I car? Go in the right direction, I only am. Oh my god, I ruined the camera. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, I think I got it fixed. So, control three. Landed, unfortunately. Got it crashed. There we go, camera's back. We're back in action. So that brought out, I think that was the first caution. Ooh. Great week to end, everyone. Goes Alex. Oh, the 21, I think, got loose on exit just at the wrong time. That's, this is, he was apologizing for that one. So right when he's supposed to kind of be fading toward the wall on the exit, he got loose, and so he didn't fade toward the wall. And then, uh, oh, man. 
Brandon got the wall really bad. He's got a YouTube channel too, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if he's uh, been able to show up to the races yet. Apologies if he hasn't, I just haven't noticed, but I've watched his uh, videos before. Pretty good, pretty good stuff. That's an unfortunate end to this race for him though, because that looked pretty terminal. I imagine he probably ended his race right there. Nick King into the wall on entry. Yeah, there he was. I don't think you can return from that. No fast repairs in this. Oh, Justin broke his car, I think. Ooh, man, that sucks. So then he all F for it. Yeah. That's a very kind move of him to do. Because I imagine he probably got the call that said, uh, you've got too much damage, you have to fix it. Or the car was very broken. Uh, I think he just got tight on exit. Got up there and got it. And, uh, with some quick thinking, and, uh, he just alt f 4 to make sure he didn't wreck anyone. So, very kind of him. It sucks that happened, though. Oh, Nick King gets taken out. By Ben, it looks like. Just heading through the mid corner faster than, uh, Faster than the guy ahead. He didn't lift off for him in time. Tough break for Nick there. We got ourselves a pit exit spin, maybe? Or are we seeing this for no reason? We're seeing it for no reason. Actually, that's a pit exit penalty, that's what that is. If I had to guess. Daniel just blinking. He does it once after like 40 laps, maybe. <laughs> Pardon me while I get a drink of tea. I've been talking for 133 laps, plus a little bit of change. I am to sweet tea what <laughs> Gavin is to Diet Dr. Pepper. Sweet tea and water is basically all I drink. Daniel, with his uh, one blink per ten laps or so. Ooh, what happened here? So we got a delicious looking Oreo car in the middle lane. Uh, I think Zach just got a little bit tight. I think he's just drifting up a little bit too soon out of the corner, kind of driving the 44 up the track. Thankfully it seems like everyone's okay other than just a little bit of wall hit right there. Zach must be really tight. He qualified so well too. Didn't he qualify like third or something? Yeah, third. Um, looked like he might. It looks like he might have been having trouble getting the uh, tires to cooperate, though. Longer runs. Nick King's still out here, really. I thought with uh, that crash earlier he would have been out of it, but I guess uh, he was able to get some damage fixed and continue on. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, oh my god, what a wreck. So what happened here? We got two wide. Hmm, I think uh, the two is a little bit high at the track. You see he's kind of in the middle lane, but Jeremy kind of turns down into him as well. Oops, wrong direction. That's a strange one. Because, I mean, they make contact in the second lane, but it looks like Jeremy's coming down the track enough like he's gonna do that, but wow, that's a huge wreck. And then he kind of gets caught on the wall a really weird way, and it like slingshots him perpendicular to the track. That's pretty scary, and I think maybe we got some more guys getting into it. What do we see here? Huh? No, we got the two involved. Everybody else looks like they might be making it through. Hmm. So that could have been worse, but unfortunately ends the race for two people, it looks like, right there. Caution. Some blinking. Oh, no. I think Ryan came up on JP right there. That's right. 
JP, he was really, he was like in contention for a lot of the time too. He might have gotten damage out of this exchange. Could have hurt him. He's a little far down the track, but he's still kind of in that upper lane. They just kind of came together right there. Whoa, Bosnick and Gavin. Very close. But avoid it. Let's see what the rest of Ryan's ride looked like here. Just right against the wall. Thankfully no one else involved it looks like. So we'll keep it moving right along. He's trying to get in the pits with a broken car. Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness! Wow! It digs into that grass. That actually kind of looked realistic like as a flip. I don't think this would happen going 90, but if he were going 180, that, I think that's kind of realistic how a real crash would look like. Maybe a little dramatic, but... That one hurt. Thankfully, we're already under caution, so... Oh, we get to see what happened to Chuck. Oh, that's pretty bad. Yeah. I can see why Nick disqualified the guy now. Man, that sucks so bad for Chuck. So, the, he's starting P2 as well. I don't think he just gets no jump at all. Either. I mean, he's on the same... He got tires the last time Mitch did. So, I don't know why he's all the way out here. But because he's all the way out there, Chuck's like, alright. Well, I guess I'll go on the inside. Maybe he's going up high trying to get out of the way, but he goes too high. Ends up in the wall. And then he doesn't even keep it up there, bounces it off. Maybe he had no, you know, no option. Takes out Chuck. So that's so unfortunate. Anybody else get damaged from this? I see some more stuff going on. 13 just turns down, not noticing Joe's below him. Hmm. Couple more rear endings. Everybody's so close to one another right there. It's very hard to avoid one another. But, uh... Devin in the wall right there. Um, I think all I really can say about that is, like, if you're gonna stay out like that on old tires, I can see... I can understand the strategy. For the number 40, I can see why Mitch did it as well. It's not a terrible decision. But you have to make sure that you can hold the line and be predictable if you're going to be putting yourself in front of the field like that. Mitch was able to pull it off just fine, but um, being hitting that wall before you even get to turn one, that's kind of a problem. So I feel like uh, if you're not confident enough that you can hold the line, you know, go ahead and make that call. But you need a caution anyway. So I think the play is go ahead and don't take tires, but then head into the pits and wait. That's what I would do probably. If I didn't expect to be able to hold my line very well, or if I know I'm going to be hugely off pace, if I'm making a play like that, I think I just go to the back, let ever, all the guys with fast, you know, fresh tires in front of me, and uh, wait for the caution that I need anyway. Because you're going you're gonna to be in the back soon enough anyway. So if anybody else finds himself in a similar position, that might be something you might consider doing. If you want to take that gamble, but uh, that'll be it. That'll be it for the race. So just got guys slowing down after it's over, and uh, that'll do it. I got the win, win number two. So uh, Mitch got his second win of the season last week, and uh, I give a, a follow-up performance. I'm able to pull it into victory lane for my second win of the season. So, I am very happy with that. So thrilled. Um, would have been cool to see uh, Chuck up there as well. Give him a good battle. Or maybe just watch him win. <laughs> but, uh, unfortunately, he get, ran into some trouble. But fortunately for me, that means that uh, I was able to get it done. So, uh, that'll do it, I suppose. Thank you for watching. That was a lot of fun. Could have uh, used a little bit more green laps, but it wasn't terrible. And, uh... Get ourselves a good result. So, have a good one. Thank you for watching. And I will see you next time. Oh, wait, wait. Before I go, let's check the standings. I'm sorry, I forgot. We're doing a league. <laughs> Let me do this real quick. Um, and then I'll say goodbye. 
So I'm sure people are like, wait, where are you in the standings? If they even care. I'm probably the only one that actually cares. These aren't the standings, but we can look at how many points I got. 106. 108. So is that max points for us? I got the most laps led, it looks like. I didn't get pole. So, but I think that's just about as many points as I could get aside from getting a pole. And then I didn't get fastest lap. Alex with the fastest lap. Nice job. So he gets some bonus points right there. 108 points, though. I'm feeling pretty good about that. And uh, having gone into the race with the points lead, I'm feeling pretty good. So a little bit of buffer room. That's very nice. Heading into the later races. So we are P1 in the standings. 100 points ahead. 103 points ahead of Mitch in second, who holds on to second. I think he finished like 15th or so. Nick in third. And Gavin's still there in fourth with Landon losing some ground after a tough race, but still there in fifth. So, okay, for real this time, that'll do it. Thank you. I appreciate you. And uh, I will see you next time. Have a good one.